secret number four. I call this guy the elbow secret. Now, what exactly is the elbow secret? Well, as you can see the, by that picture there, the elbow secret pertains especially to you breaststrokers, right? For all those breaststrokers out there. We started, we started with fly, did a little bit of freestyle, backstroke was last week. This week, of course, we cannot forget about the classic old breaststroke, okay? So you see I got that picture um, of Adam Petey there, but let's talk about this a little bit more. What is the elbow secret? What does that mean? So breaststroke is kind of one of those strokes that uh, really you either love it or you hate it, right? There's, there's no person who's just kind of okay with breaststroke, right? Um, but regardless, of how you feel about it, this secret's gonna make you a lot faster. So oftentimes in breaststroke, even with a lot of the top swimmers out there, something that you see pretty, uh, pretty regularly um, is that they're actually getting caught when they're shooting forward. And I mean, when I, what I mean by that is that just before they go to shoot their arms forward, get into that shoot, they are getting super, super caught into drag. Um, and something that I've discovered is that most breaststrokers um, actually bring their elbows way too far back on their body um, when, after they've set up their catch, right? So, so they, they set up that nice elbow, high elbow catch, but then when they bring around to set up their shoot, their elbow is all the way back here. Um, so something that you really, really want to be trying. And the reason why I chose this picture here of Adam Petey is because he's one of the, pre I mean, obviously the fastest breaststroker of all time must be doing a few things, right? But he is incredible at this. So try bringing your elbows kind of to the front of, uh, kind of almost like to the front of your ribs, right? Like you want to bring your biceps almost like right underneath your chest, if you could, um, and kind of having your shoulders forward. And this is really going to allow you to, A, to be a lot skinnier in the water, which reduces that drag. Um, and there's going to be a lot less water for you to shoot through. Um, so you'll be able to more efficiently get into your next stroke. So let's break this down a little bit, right? So you look at most breaststrokers, they're coming in and you guys can see me here. Hopefully everyone can see me. Yeah, webcam looks good. All right, cool. So. <clears throat> A lot of swimmers, right? They come in, they set up that nice big high elbow, right? They get that high elbow. I'm sitting in a chair, so it might look a little strange. But as they come and they bring it around, you see that their arms, right? Their elbows, let me move my computer screen down, are almost like back here, right? Before they shoot forward. It's back here. And that you are pulling into so much drag. Ideally, what you want to be doing is getting that catch, taking your biceps, and almost trying to squeeze them into your chest, right? If you look at that picture of PD, he is squeezing his biceps right here, just like this to his chest, and then shooting forward. There's so much less drag in doing that. It's just way faster, especially if you're a power breaststroker, right? If you're a 100, a 200 breast, or sorry, a 100 or a 50 breaststroker, those little things can make such a huge difference, but it's also more efficient so for you 200 breaststrokers out there, pardon me, do this as well. It's going to make a huge difference in your breaststroke. You're going, to, and, uh, you're going to, sorry, be able to move through the water a lot better. You're also, and this is the beauty of it, right? Since you are pulling through less drag, you're going to be, you're going to be more efficient, which means you're not going to be as tired at the end of the race. So you're going to be able to keep yourself moving. Um, of course, this is a new skill. So once you start to get tired, you're going to have to be a little bit more conscious of it while you're swimming because it'll be something that's new. But seriously, you guys, if you're a breaststroker, and I know some of you in here are, I know we got Caleb, guys like that who are breaststrokers in here. You guys really, really, I want you to be focusing on this one. It's huge for you. And it's something so small and so subtle, right? Just like I was talking about catch wits for butterfly the other week. It's something so small and it's so subtle, but it can make the world of difference for your breaststroke. And even if you're an IMer as well, right? Typically with IM, breaststroke is kind of the stroke where people kind of tend to lay their foot off the gas a little bit, right? Like they don't push it quite as hard. They think, ah, oh, like this is the stroke where I get to, you know, I get to glide in the water. I get to chill out before the, the hammer home of the freestyle. But no, if you're swimming a 200 IM you do, or a 400 IM, you're doing every stroke hard right? So you need to make those strokes as efficient as possible. And for breaststroke, this is the number one way, way for you to do that. I see so many breaststrokers, top level, you know, just starting out, doesn't matter 
they're all pull being back so far right and just shooting themselves forward into drag and it's essentially the equivalent of shooting yourself in the foot it's not a big help for you at all hey my name is lucas from swim techniques i want to change your swimming forever and bring you to be a part of our brand new revolutionary tribe the swim techniques academy but what exactly is the Academy, you might be asking? Well, the Academy is a revolutionary new way that swimmers around the globe are changing their careers forever. Inside the Academy, you're going to have access to myself, Lucas, coaching you step-by-step -step via WhatsApp and weekly Zoom calls with all of the members of the Academy where we can push each other to new and exceptional heights. Then you can dive into an ever-expanding library of lessons and secrets from your favorite Olympians. You see here, I teach a full butterfly course. Olympian and European record holder Kira Toussaint covers backstroke. Two-time Olympian Morgan Obby on breaststroke. And as you can see, we have so much in here from starts to turns, yoga, weights, dry land, everything in between that you need to be the best swimmer you can be. All you got to do is click below to start your seven day free trial and change your swimming for the rest of your life. And then once you join, if you don't like it, all good. If you do, it's only seven bucks a month to stay in the academy. I'm so excited about this and I can't wait to start working with you one-on-one. -on -one. Click down below.